psychological characteristics of developing excellence or PCDEs as they're referred to in a lot of the literature that surrounds human performance are commitment, focus and distraction control, coping with pressure, goal setting, self-awareness, realistic self-evaluation, imagery, planning and organizing, and quality practice. Some great research at the University of Central Lancashire, led by doctors Dave Collins, Annie McNamara, and David Gresick, concludes that these behaviors are observable in performers that achieve excellence. This research also concludes that they're needed if athletes want to reach their full potential. So, from a coaching perspective, what does this mean? Well, when I look at an athlete like LeBron James, it's easy for me to assume that he's reached the top of his sport because of genetic gifts. But this is a very one-dimensional approach. I would pose this question. Without psychological characteristics of developing excellence, would LeBron James have been able to dominate the NBA for over a decade like he has? My personal conclusion, no. But don't take my word for it. Let's visit the experts at the University of Central Lancashire and find out what they think. Hi, how do you do? I'm Dr. David Greckick from University of Central Lancashire. Um, my background is um, sports athlete, uh, scholarship athlete, unfortunately, bad injury. Always loved sport, didn't know what I wanted to do and ended up being a PE teacher. Uh, from that, worked, coached many, many different sports, obviously within physical education, worked at county and regional level, um, and eventually ended up working at a university. Um, my research area, PhD, was in elite coaching. Most of my sample was with uh, the England Talent Pathway. I was part of the performance support with them for a number of years. And now I work in rugby, soccer, uh, British cycling, tennis, as many sports as possible. My area of study is elite coach development uh, and how we can provide the best coaching environments, the best experience and develop the whole athlete. Perfect. I love how you said soccer and not football. <laughs> For your crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So from the PCDs, from my point of view, I'd like people to realise that they are the building blocks. So quite often there's different concepts which are wonderful out there. So, you know, if you look at the four C's of mental toughness, you know, Clough and Earl stuff, you know, if you look at Jim Lesick, Ohio State University, mental skills for sports performance. If you look at Carol Dweck, growth mindset, Angela Duckworth, grit, you know, Guy Claxton building learning power. You know, there's coaches and parents and athletes will have heard a lot of these terminology before, but they are all outcomes. Those are wonderful outcomes that you hope as a coach your players will have. But what are the building blocks? What, you know, can you focus on that eventually will help develop those? And, you know, we spoke earlier, you know, from a coaching point of view, in football, they would definitely go down the five C's of coaching efficacy. You know, from education and from other sports and golf, for instance, have adopted PCDEs, you know, based on Anya and Dave's research. You know, that these are the characteristics that will underpin elite performance in all different domains. So PCDs, for anyone that um, you know, can't remember, psychological characteristics for developing excellence. And why they're so important, uh, these are the foundations, these are the building blocks of elite performance. There are some wonderful frameworks out there, you know, four C's of mental toughness, uh, Carol Dweck's growth mindsets, we've got Angela Duckworth's grit, we've got Guy Claxton's building learning power. But all these are wonderful outcomes that we want our golfers to achieve. But how do we achieve them? We achieve them by developing these foundation stones. And they are the psychological characteristics of developing excellence. They are the practical things that golf coaches can work on and develop, which will have the long-term benefits of creating these positive outcomes. The mindsets, the way that we think, the way that we problem solve, and the way we plan. So there we have it. PCDs and the importance of them if your athletes are going to reach their potential. Thank you so much to Dr. Dave Collins, Dr. Annie McNamara, and Dr. David Gresick for giving up their time, passion, and energy to help us produce this content for you. Now, I have a confession to make. 
I use LeBron James as my first example of someone who engages in PCDEs to achieve greatness because maybe you might think he's still genetically gifted. And that's cool. But what about someone like Muggsy Bogues? He made it into the NBA and he was five foot three and he was the 12th pick in the draft. No genetic gifts there. How did he do that? And then I'm sure there's more examples of maybe athletes that don't have these genetic gifts that, that achieve at the highest level. I, I just can't think of any right now. Ooh, ooh, I got one. I got a good one. Plays in the NFL, runs like a baby giraffe. They throw to him maybe twice a year and he always seems to drop the ball. But I think he's got five championship rings. Oh, I know that dude. You know what I'm talking about? I think his name's Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the greatest quarterback of all time. Drafted 199? Mm hmm Okay, cool. Some good examples of PCDs there. I think there's another guy a bit like that. He, he was a walk-on to his college team. He didn't get any scholarship. And now he might be one of the greatest defensive players in the NFL. What's his name? I, th I think he plays for the Texans. Yeah, he's got two letters for his first name. Oh, J.J. Watt. Yeah, that's it. Another fantastic example of the benefits of developing psychological characteristics of excellence. Are there any more? Oh, there's got to be. Oh, there's that dude who was drafted fifth in the recent NFL draft, but was only recruited by one college. Wide receiver for the, for the Titans? Oh, uh, yeah, Corey Davis. Awesome, yeah, Corey Davis, another fantastic example. Hey, do we have any from sports, perhaps, where football is actually football, <laughs> where we kick it on the ground? Oh, there's got to be a couple. Let's see, the World Cup just wrapped up, the guy that played for France. Oh, N'Golo Kante in 2013 was playing Division Two football in France, and in 2018 was going like this with the World Cup. Awesome example of PCDs. Any more? Yeah, there's got to be, let's see, Jamie Vardy comes to mind. Oh, that's right. Five years ago, was playing non-league football and then was a Premier League champion. Fantastic example. No genetic gifts there. But there's one other. We're missing one. I think it's back to American sports. We're missing one. Really, really good example. I, can't, I don't think this guy got in his high school team and then he did something in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls as a trainer named after him. You can't be talking about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Maybe the most prime example of how important PCDs are in helping players, athletes, and humans reach their potential. So, that's enough for the introduction. Let's get on to it. Over we go to module one.